This video will show you how to use the tools on IDWR's website to find a well in Idaho. There are two ways to look for a well. You can either use a map to find your well or use a search form. First we will show you how to find a well using a map and then I will show you how to find a well using the well construction search tool. To open up the map, start by visiting our main website at idwr.idaho.gov, then click on wells, followed by find a well. Before you start searching, it is important to realize that not all wells in Idaho are on this map, and that not all the wells that are drawn on this map are in the correct location. Let me explain. Up until 1987, well drillers were not required to obtain a permit to drill for a well. Hence, many of those reports were not submitted to the Idaho Department of Water Resources and thus do not appear on this map. It was not until 1997 that drillers were required to weld what is called a DTAG to their well. If you have the number on this DTAG, have it handy, since it will be one of the easiest way to directly find a well. The second thing to keep in mind is that a well does not always appear in the correct location. It will be nearby, but may not show exactly where the well is located. The Idaho Department of Water Resources receives information about wells in different formats. More recently, we received latitude and longitude coordinates that have been collected with a GPS unit, as shown on this well drillers report. Hence the location on the map matches the location in the real world very closely. However, older well drillers reports like this one only show in which quarter quarter a well resides. A quarter quarter is a mostly square piece of land that is 40 acres big. We don't know where inside this 40 acre piece of land the well is located and hence we place it in the center. Ok, let's start using the map. The buttons in the top left corner will allow you to zoom in, zoom out, and zoom you all the way out to Idaho. The button on the bottom is really handy since it will zoom to the area where you are currently physically located. Another really handy feature for zooming in and out of your map is to use the little scroll wheel in the middle of your mouse. Let's find a well. You can search by a number of different things using the search button along the top. The easiest way to find a well is to enter the metal tag number or D tag number that may be welded to your well. Or, if you know it, you can enter the well ID on the drilling permit number. Once you have typed it in, click on search. You can also zoom the map using a township and range. Type it in and click on search. Another easy way to find a location is to do it by address. To understand what the different symbols and colors on the map represent, click on the legends button. You can see we are in a critical groundwater area. For more information about each of the layers, click on the Layers button. You can turn the layers on and off by checking and unchecking the check mark. You can further manipulate the layers by clicking on the dots to the right of the layer name. Here you can change which layer is drawn on top, display labels or view a table with all the items on the map. In this case, list all the groundwater management areas. You can double click on any of those groundwater management areas and the map will zoom you there. To close the attribute table, click on the attribute table button. You can change the background from an aerial photo to something else by clicking on the base map gallery button. For example, we can change it to a topographic map. Here I have zoomed in to a quarter quarter and I have located the well that I'm interested in. Click on it for more information. In this case, you can see that this well is located right in the middle of a 40 acre quarter quarter. When you click on the well, you get the information for this particular well. You can see that there is more than one well in this location. It says well one of two. To view information for the second well, Click on the arrow and you will receive the same information for the other well. One of the items that pop up when you click on a well is the More Info link. This will lead you to a short form where you can click on the document name and pull up the well drillers report. If you want, you can select wells and other features on this map and export it to a CSV, a feature collection or a JSON. Do this by clicking on the button in the top right, click on Select and then drawing a polygon.
double click to complete. Click on the dots at the end of the layer and then export to the desired format. A CSV file might be really handy since you can open this up in Microsoft Excel. If you would like to print this map, click on the print button. Provide the title for your map, the layout and format, and you also have some advanced options to give you even more control over your layout. For any questions, click the help button. If you did not find the well, you can try using our well construction search tool. To find the well construction search tool, go back to wells and click on well construction search. The well construction search tool allows you to search by owner name. This is the owner at the time of the drilling, the construction date of the well, and other search parameters. Like the map, the search tool also allows you to search by DTAC numbers, public land survey system information, the so township and range, physical address of the well, as well as the subdivision where the well resides. The important thing to remember is to only answer one of the questions. So for example, only the DTAC number and then leaving the rest of the form blank. The closer to the top of the screen your information is, the better your search results will be. When you have entered the information, in this case, let's do a search for township, range, section and quarter quarter. Click on search. From this list, click the well log that you're looking for, which will then give you access to the well drillers report. Thank you for watching this video.